Yeah, the boat's on nicely now. All good. Our aim was to start by spearfishing off the Lizard Point, but the waters were so treacherous I made the decision to put my crew first and find more sheltered water in the bay. Captain Joe PK has just been playing around in a little reef. 200 meters out to sea, and we heard an almighty whoop whoop. And he has good reason for this. Joe, show us what you found. Oh my goodness it's gracious. Oh, 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 Joe. Oh, talk us through. Unfortunately, I didn't get this on camera, so I'm going to describe what just happened. We're 15 meters. And I dove down and actually spooked this fish out of the way. I almost do dove onto it and it actually started making off. So I waited for a long time on the kelp and just made little grunting sounds. <laughs> and after probably 40 seconds, he just turned and he came back towards me. It's a nice fish. <laughs> So we are anchoring up next to a wreck of some description. The Pollock was going home to be enjoyed with the whole family, so I still needed to catch a fish for the campfire later that evening. After some jigging for mackerel, we decided to head to the shore to set up our camp and cook the cat. Well, after a busy day spearfishing, we've come round from the Lizard all the way round to the Helford River, which is this area here basically to avoid the rough water so the boat can be safely anchored. We can easily transfer our things to the camp. So we're going to have a fire, set the tent up here so we can have a little fish tomorrow as well. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Chef Barkley, what do you want to eat? Why don't we have the mackerel ceviche? We'll prepare that now. Some bones there. Sharpen it for the next trip here, I think. Do you want to just have a side of sea beet?
Yes, please. Wow. I mean, this is just the starter. It's really good. But the greens, with the lemon juice, the mackerel, that's delicious. Thank you for filming today. That is delicious. Oh, my pleasure. The video's been amazing. It's the first time on a, on a dinghy that size. Yeah. I mean, that sea around the lizard was rough. That was very exciting. I've never seen anything like it. Right, we've got a girdle. We're going to put it in the girdle, chuck it on the flames, and we're going to have it with our potatoes. <laughs> it's a girdle. <laughs> we've got a griddle. Wow. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought that's why I skin side down. Because then it doesn't matter if it peels off the skin. The skin will actually be the plate, you know. The flame grilled mullet with canary and star potatoes was a truly epic way to fill our bellies at the end of a busy day. I wonder why they taste so good. I mean, it's the salt water. <laughs> yeah. I think that does play a big part. Mm. That and we're very hungry. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Should we go and catch some breakfast? We're heading out. Shallow frying these chunks. Yeah. Keeping skin on these. Small goodnesses. Some red onion. Oh, and get this. Here we are. <laughs> that looks like some good olive oil. For breakfast, shallow fried sea bass with red onion, lentils, and sweet potato. <laughs> 